now we are looking at a project in impact model viewer and um, when we select an element we can see in properties for this element that it includes a cost and a time uh, and this is actually uh, set in another part of uh, impact production called uh, impact cost estimation so this is cost estimation and the first thing we see here is two tabs, one called project, one called settings. And in the project tab, uh, we can see the, the project properties or a summary uh, of all element types that is included in this project. Uh, how many element uh, marks and how many elements each element type have. Um, the total area, total mass, the time here and the cost for each element type. We also have a total at the bottom. Uh, when clicking on the project, we get production time and production cost for each element type as well. Um, start by looking at production time. Uh, let's start with walls in this case. Um, we can see here um, all the element marks for the walls in this project. And the information that's given is the group, definition, product and the basic geometry uh, which is length, width, height, area, mass and volume. And there's also how, how many elements uh, uh, these uh, this uh, element mark generates so in this case it's it's four elements uh, for WP1 and then there's uh, the the time uh, so so the first column here is the total uh, and it's a summary of the base time uh, reinforcement time cost and material time form time and opening time it's also possible to set a manual time if you want to add or subtract uh, some hours to the element. Um, we can also select all the elements here and uh, down in the properties we can see uh, here there's a total of uh, the time for the walls in this project. So the same goes for, we can close the production time here and look at the cost, continuing with the walls. So these are the same walls, but instead it shows the cost here. So the first, the first column total cost is a summary of working cost and material cost. Working cost is a uh, uh, set cost for for the time that uh, we, we saw in, in, in production time. And the material cost is a summary of um, the concrete cost, insulation, and cost for reinforcement, uh, cost in material, form, and opening. And we also have manual here, as you can see. Okay, so where does this information come comes from? Uh, we look at settings. Uh, this part here. Then we have a time list and price list. Uh, we start with the time. So the first one is the curves. We have curves, curves that we can connect to each uh, element type. So this is the this is the base time that wa that I was talking about uh, in the project tab. Then uh, so that's you can you you can connect different um, curves here. To, to different de definitions. Uh, we have time for the cost in material, um, the re different reinforcement, um, form work for each element type, uh, and openings. Uh, most of the time it's in, in, in walls, insulated uh, and sandwich and normal walls. It's a uh, uh, doors or or windows uh, yeah so we can close this and we'll look at the price list uh, you can have more than one price list uh, we start with 2015 
uh, first one is parameters where you where you set what kind of parameter you use for each material uh, so for concrete for example you can choose mass or volume uh, for example yeah and the personal is the cost uh, that is set for 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 each group here you can you can set different cost for different uh, type of work uh, yes concrete different recipes uh, set the cost to different recipes uh, uh, insulation uh, reinforcement connect different costs to different uh, kind of, um, of uh, reinforcement and um, different kind of cost for form and openings so that's basically um, how we work with uh, uh, cost estimation and if I go back to to project uh, I can show you that if we look here in the in the graphic graphical view uh, you get an overview or diagram of uh, the time for for walls here uh, divided into to um, these parts uh, so we can see that for for walls 60% uh, of the time is for form in this case uh, nearly 30 percent for the reinforcement for walls uh, we look at sandwich looks a little bit different and the same goes for cost here uh, as you can see how it's divided in 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 uh, the, the different group if you click at production cost you can see w how the cost is divided into all element types another thing you can use cost estimation for is uh, to see what's included in in each element so if we start with we look at the walls again uh, we select some walls you, you see down here uh, in the properties uh, how many elements that uh, is included in, in this selection total mass total volume cost and time and so on but you can also see uh, what kind of cost in material is included in these elements what kind of reinforcement and what kind of openings here uh, so that's that, that's a, a good thing to use cost estimation for but that's that's a basic how basically how you can use um, cost estimation in general uh, so I start start there for now thanks